45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degree triangles. These are right triangles, of course, because we can see there's a 90 degree corner right there. So, what would that look like? It would look like this. This leg and this leg are of equal length, and this is the hypotenuse. So yeah, you could do Pythagorean's theorem with this one. The square of this plus the square of this is equal to the square of that. But that's not what we're doing right now. Let's take a look at what I want to show you. Write triangles with even legs. See? They've got two identical angles. That means the legs are the same. So the length of both legs are equal. A is equal to B. The length of the hypotenuse is equal to the length of the leg multiplied by the square root of 2. So the hypotenuse, C, is equal to a leg multiplied by the square root of 2. Or, if you want to find the leg B, it would be this way. C is equal to B times the square root of 2. The length of the leg is equal to half the hypotenuse multiplied by the square root of 2. So. This was the length of the hypotenuse. This is the length of the leg. So if you have leg A and you want to find out what it is, you can say, OK, I'm going to find out what C time, the side C, the hypotenuse, multiplied by the square root of 2 is, and I'm going to cut that in half. If you want to find leg B, you multiply the hypotenuse by the square root of 2, and you cut that in half, and then you would have them. So, I want you to see my via uh, geometry videos, number 10 and 11, for drawing angles with protractors. If you need to draw these, and you need to draw them at exactly 45 degrees, those two videos will show you how to do it. Not with a compass, it's with a protractor. Compass is completely different. So, let's look at this. So these are the formulas. To find the hypotenuse, it's A times the square root of 2, or B times the square root of 2. To find the leg, it's the hypotenuse times the square root of 2 cut in half. So, what is the square root of 2? It's actually this big, long number. So what you can do is just use 1.41. If you do, you must immediately stop using an equal sign and start using an approximate sign. Because you're not doing it approximately. You're, you're doing it approximately. You're not doing it exactly. You would have to... Uh, multiply it by exactly this entire big number to use the equal sign. And that's it's considered kind of silly in math. This is very acceptable to do 1.41 and change the equal sign to an approximate sign and keep your answers short and simple. If anyone marks that wrong, they're wrong. This is acceptable. Now, sometimes teachers say, I want you to answer the problem, but leave it as the square root. Don't go into detail. You can do that too. Sometimes when you're doing it, the teacher will say, just leave it 6 square root of 2. And you go, OK, that's less work for me. That's fine. So look, we'll to try to find the hypotenuse for this one, let's say that a is 6. Well, then, because a is equal to b in this, that means b is 6, right? So if a is 6, then b is 6. So to find the hypotenuse, we're going to do this one. 6 times the square root of 2. 6 times 1.41. And it comes out to be approximately 8.46. So in that case, the hypotenuse would be approximately 8.46. And boy, don't forget that approximate sign. The minute you put that equal sign, it's wrong. I'm telling you, it's a quick way to get a bad grade. Now, to find the leg, what we're going to do is, let's say the hypotenuse is 14. So if we know it's 14, we can cut that in half right now and say it's 7. See? And then we can multiply that by the square root of 2. And we get 9.87 for one of the legs if the hypotenuse is 14. But it's approximately 9.87. Very important, approximately. So that is triangles that have a right angle of 90 degrees, and then the other two are identical with 45 and 45. What we're going to do next is an overview of the triangles that we covered in the last 10 to 15 videos. 
Uh, we're not going to cover any proofs or anything like that. It's just a real basic going over uh, scalene, isosceles, and equilateral triangles and what their properties are. Real quickie kind of video. Hope you watch it. It might be some help to bring back your memory of what we've done.